Hi, I'm Rebecca, and I just wanted to fill everyone in on Bondi Beach's progress since our last post. Right after submitting our first vlog, Bidget contested the four-year-old qualifier at Virginia Horse Center eventing. I went back and forth about entering her, wondering if she was still a bit too green, but she stepped right up to the plate and earned herself a qualifying score. I definitely could have ridden her a lot better in the dressage, but she made up for it in the jumping scoring straight fours and 4.5s for her jumping efforts and scoring a 7.5 for general impression. She finished second in the four-year-olds and I couldn't have been more pleased with her, especially considering how green she was at the time. A few weekends later, she did her first full event at the Middleburg Horse Trials. She was a class act from start to finish and added nothing to her dressage score to win the Open Beginner Novice. The video clips you have seen so far are from that event. Here she is schooling at Plain Dealing Farm and you can see how much she loves cross country. While game from her first school, she is now figuring out how to use her body more efficiently and is really becoming quite a little machine. It's nearly impossible not to smile when riding her. After this cross-country school, it was decided that we needed to bump her up to novice at her next outing, so we entered the second Maryland horse trials at Lockmoy. Before Lockmoy, one of my mentors suggested that we take Midget to a hunter show to work on maintaining a steady rhythm and to provide encouraging courses for her to open up her stride. Thus, we headed to the Virginia Horse Center to play in the Green Hunters at House Mountain. While I thought we were going just to practice and play around and potentially offer the spectators a comedy of errors, Midget and the judge thought otherwise. To my surprise, the judge quite liked her, and she even won one of her overfences classes against good company. I was shocked. Here Midget is at Lockmoy, where she put in a lovely workmanlike test to get a 30. She is a very soft and willing horse, but still needs to get stronger and learn how to push more from behind into the bridle. Once she gets a bit more through, her scores will improve. We then added a rail in the show jumping, where she jumped a couple quite big, and I didn't get her back in front of my leg quick enough. But as you can see later in this video, by the final line, she was back to her normal and confident self, making it all feel effortless. She then jumped boldly around the cross country, adding just a couple seconds of time on slick footing. She wasn't yet drilled and tapped, so I had to be a bit careful um, on the terrain there. Even though it was only her second event, she has already figured out the cross country game. She locked onto the B elements of all of her combinations. She's already seeking the flags. Since Lockmoy, we've spent the past couple weeks doing our homework and just working on getting her stronger and are planning to do another novice run at Weridaka in August. As always, we'll let her tell us what she wants to do, but I do think it's very likely that she'll be ready for the championships in October. It's a big ask for any four-year-old, much less one born as late in the year as she was, but between her brain and her natural ability, I do think there's a fair chance that you'll see us at Maryland. Fingers crossed.